So, Lad, I've learned lots of couple of interesting things about you. I think the first thing is like everybody looks at you and they say size, 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 and you're maybe five eleven and a half and one seventy right now, one sixty five. Yes, sir. But you've also already grown up a spurt. Like how how big is your body? How much has your body changed since your sophomore year? Uh, definitely, like I like I told you earlier, I was five six, one fifteen playing varsity as a sophomore. So I've definitely definitely matured a lot in that aspect. Lad, you're, you're kind of like a guy that, I don't know, if we had to look at your recruiting like a football game, that it was going pretty good and maybe the game was tied in the third and fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. You got five minutes left. Then all of a sudden things get things go, I guess, bonkers a little bit. You've got the late Georgia offer. You've got a Vanderbilt offer. you got Missouri knocking at the door. There's some interest from your dream school, Tennessee, I guess, or your hometown, your favorite school growing up, Tennessee. What has this been like for you, man? Um, it's definitely been a huge blessing. It's been exciting for me and for my family, so just trying to take everything in and just let it sink in and make the best 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 decision for me. How did Georgia offer you, and how did they try to let you know that you're actually a need that they need a guy like you in their program? Your last minute. Um, really, they just kind of said uh, they needed high character guys that they can really count on, and guys that they can uh, get to the fo get the football in space and make a make one guy miss and go score. Does the lure there of Georgia being the big program competing for championships growing up in North Georgia, that's got to be big for you for a young man here in Murray, in Murray County, right? Yes, sir, definitely. I mean, anytime you get the opportunity to go play for a top five team in the nation the past four years, I mean, that, that really is something special. Now, Lad, uh, first of all, two, two great family arcs I want to talk about with you here. First of all, uh, your government name or your, your name on your birth or your driver's license is, is Andrew. McConkie. What's your middle name? Lad. So it is your middle name. Where does, where does Lad come from? Uh, my great-grandfather's name was Lad, so just that's taken after him really is where, where I got my middle name. Everybody just called you Lad from the jump, right? Yes, sir. Whole lot. Anybody call you Andrew at all? Never. No one's ever called me Andrew. <laughs> and then I guess uh, I asked you, uh, like, what is your ritual before a game? Mm -hmm. And you told me that you inscribed the date one twenty sixteen. Yes, sir on your towel. What is that for? And then what, what did it mean then and what does it mean now? Um, that, was, that was the day my grandfather passed away. Uh, he was a huge part in my life. He was at one of my biggest fans. He was at every single one of my games. So he, he definitely means a lot to me and I know he's watching down over me and, and proud of me. So Georgia offers you, which is I guess we can call a breakthrough offer at least, which changes a game changing offer. That also comes on January the 20th. Yes, sir. How do you look at that and just shake your head and just kind of wonder that something else is at work besides college football and the big business of offers coming and going? I um, mean, it's it, it's a special moment and to realize that it did happen on that day. It just it shows again that he is he is watching over me and he's here with me even even if he's really not. Like just walk folks through the last the next two weeks of your life. What are you going to have to decide? Uh, you're going to have to fit in unofficial visits and official visits. What what's that schedule going to look like for you right now? I'm um, really just trying to. I'm going to visit uh, Georgia or official visit Georgia on the last weekend of the month, and then if I if I can squeeze in one more to get my fifth official visit during this coming up week, and still kind of just trying to plan that and figure out where I'm going to go for that one. So Tennessee's kind of talking to you right now. You're going to squeeze in an unofficial there this weekend. Is that kind of like a a dark horse thing that you know you're going to wait and see what matriculates there? Because obviously that would be a school you would deeply consider as well, right? Yes, sir. I mean, in just them being my dream school, kind of growing up and the team I rooted for, it would be would be special to get an offer from them. But like I said, like I said earlier, if it's not the best fit for me, then then I'll go wherever the best fit is. Who's it coming down to right now? If you had to name off the schools that well, you'll think about and maybe pray about and look about, which schools are really in it late for you right now? Um, I'd say uh, really the schools that are kind of in it late is Vanderbilt, Georgia, um, Army West Point, and then just kind of the ones that are still circulating and kind of trying to figure out where everything is going to go with that. Vlad, I think that maybe one of the cooler parts of your story is, man, this time a week ago, you were thinking my path might be X, Y, or Z. Yes, sir. And now it's totally switched up. That's like an audible in a football game. What's that like to be living that and 
all of a sudden have your world kind of turned around real fast. I know it's for the good. Mm -hmm. These are blessings. But what's that been like for you? Um, it, it's really been overwhelming just kind of how it came on so fast. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really expect it, and for it to, for it to happen like that, it, it definitely has been a huge blessing for me and for my family. So these, these next four years, or next four to five years are going to be fun. Lad, if it would be Georgia, what do you think would be the biggest reason why you would choose Georgia? Um, I think really just kind of the relationship I've, I've already built with, with the coach and staff and them coming down to my game and showing love and just showing how they can, act, they can really use me in the coming years. I think that would be a big part in why I would choose Georgia. What was your feeling after that visit? What was, you know, coming out of that visit, what was running through your mind? It was a special moment, just b thankful for everything that, for everything that's happened in my life and just kind of realizing the hard work has, has paid off. Lad, my last question, wherever you go, what type of player are you going to bring to that university? What type of player will you be? What type of worker will you be? What would be your mindset going into college football? Um, I mean, coming in, I know I'm not going to be the biggest or, or even the fastest guy, but I'm coming in, I know I'm going to give everything I have and I'm going to, well, the university I, I attend, they, they, know, they need to know that they're going to get 100% out of me no matter what. Lad McConkey, we got to call him Lad, not Andrew. <laughs> Special story here late in the 2020 cycle. This has been a roller coaster recruiting year for everyone, including uh, Lad McConkey here in North Murray High School. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you.